I just took my car into the shop because the AC was blowing warm air. I received an estimate for the repair and they told me that the compressor had failed and contaminated the system. But in the estimate, they also listed several other parts that were needed, needed to be replaced. And if it's only the compressors failed, why do I need these other parts? Yeah. Now an AC system isn't a whole lot different than an engine or a lubrication circuit. If you've got a failure, you can scatter a lot of parts. Shrapnel. Yeah. Mm. You got big ones, you got small ones. What'll circulate through the system? So you've got to tear it down and try to clean them. But there's a lot of places you can't <laughs> get to to clean those out. Some of these are like this. Yeah, if you look in your condenser, now these are the little tubes that are acting like a radiator and they're transferring the heat. And look, there's no way, obviously, <laughs> this is going to go through. So you're going to have to replace it. There's no way to flush. Now, if you look at the orifice tube, it has a little teeny tube through there, it has a filter, and then obviously no way big shrapnel is going to go through there either. Well, there's no way to clean it. So just like your engine, if you fail a piston, you can't just put a new one in. You're going to do an engine rebuild, and you're going to clean everything. You're going to replace some parts. Now, speaking of replacing parts, when you do that, make sure you got the right oil and the right quantity. Now, you can do uh, OE style, like this Delphi compressor. It's already got the right oil and the right amount in it. Makes the job easy. Get you back on the road running cool. Hopefully that answers your question, Ian. 